We've added in the support poles for the canopy, shown in this blue spline shape. And now we're going to construct, as a Revit family, some steel supports for the benches. Uh, we need some extra support in here for these pipes. And we're going to do it in a way that it's a reusable detail. That's what a family is. We can call it up and, and reuse and change one, and they all change, and so forth. Um, I do this fairly commonly with things like structural steel details, such as this kind of bracket, where I'll probably use the same thing over and over. And so it's nice to build up a library rather than always everything being a one-off design. We need something of a trapezoidal shape coming off the pole, supporting the pipes, and being cut back in the front a little bit so the people sitting don't really score the underside of their knees on the uh, sharp edges. First, we'll go into uh, the ribbon and new, and we'll make a family. And in the family, we're going to start this out as probably a generic model will work pretty nicely. And you can go and explore the others at your leisure, find out what they do a bit. But this will work. just gives us a rough reference center point. I'll hit open. And really all it starts out with is some simplified views, some reference levels and elevations, and a center. And it's ready for uh, modeling. To begin, I'm actually going to go and place a component. And I'm going to put in a 6-inch pole or 6-inch uh, steel post as a reference for later sizing of a void. And I'll choose yes. I'd like to load in under structural, columns, steel. And here's our pipe columns I'm using. And here is my 6-inch. I'll hit OK. And I'm going to just zoom in on my zero here and place it right in the middle with no rotation. Okay. So there is, if you look in the 3D view, our steel pole. And what we need then is our bracket to come off this. I'll jump to home and do this as a series of extrusions. First making uh, the flanges, basically, of our trapezoid, then the web, and finally extracting sort of an arc-shaped section from it. Go into a front view, and I'll make my display fine so I can see the pole. Looks like that pole came in a little odd, and I need to just fix that. It's never a big problem to fix something afterwards. We're going to see that here in the Nine foot works nicely. We're going to see that in the making of this bracket as well. Nothing is really ever set in stone or set in concrete or in steel until we, well, export it. And otherwise, we can edit things at our leisure. I'll begin by choosing Home and Extrusion. And what I'll do is sketch as a spline first, making a rectangle. And I'm going to make this uh, two foot six. It looks like in the measure of the original drawings, those benches are pretty deep and six inches tall. I'm clicking to end my cantilever, or this will come out at about uh, maybe, what do we call it, 60 centimeters or 65 by 15 tall. That works nicely. We can always convert our units under manage if we need. Next, I'll go to modify, and I'm going to start to form my trapezoid by picking the end of one line and dragging it up so that the end of this detail is three inches tall. And then I'll pick the horizontal and pull it up as well. And so we can see the large end is going to go against the pole, the narrow end up here for the bench. Now I'll customize by picking the end of this, this drag end, and I'm going to pull it along the other line at a 120 degree angle to cut back that surface. And now I'll make the other line match. And so it's really quite easy to keep things very well aligned, which is a really nice feature. Now I need to do some offsetting. What I'd like is to have a flange at the top and bottom as if sort of a distorted eye. And then we've welded another piece of steel in the end. But the end over here will be open, and really just the web will be welded onto our steel pole. So I'll delete that segment. And now use the offset tool. Offsetting by, let's go by um, 3 eighths of an inch. So it's a nice thin steel section. 
And as you can see, when I hold the offset tool above or below, the dotted line indicates where it'll go. And I'll go inside here, and Revit cleans up the corners for me. Lastly, then, I'll use the line tool and close up this shape. And it looks like I'm nice and vertical there, and it did its best to close up. And I'm ready in my extrusion to give it a depth here, and we'll do a 4 inch or maybe a 10 centimeter extrusion works nicely. And the one other thing I'm going to do to help get this centered fairly easily, right now we can see in the extrusion start and end it goes from 0 to 4 inches based on the front work plane which passes directly through the center of the pole. I am going to duck the issue of aligning later by making this go from 2 inches to negative 2. and apply. And so now if I go and I check this out in 3D, there's that line and I will check OK and here is my extrusion. Whoop, let's not move that too hastily. Uh, and we can see it's a line on that pole and it's ready for further work. 